Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to a video of classic Christmas. Today, I'm sharing with you five of my all-time favorite, truly high-end gift ideas that are under $5. And yes, they are so easy to do, and what's more, make you feel so good. Plenty of dollar store tricks are hidden inside this video, and if you've never made candles before, I've got you. This is so relaxing and easy. Take some oranges. These are in season right now. Cut them in thin slices and bake at 200 degrees for a few hours to dry them out. We're going to combine this with cloves, rosemary, and star anise. I'm going to make these candles using this Freedom Soy Wax. I'll link this down below, some options that come before Christmas. I placed it inside this metal pitcher, and then I had the water on a medium boil. I like to fill this all the way up with the wax, and slowly it will melt over the course of 10 to 15 minutes. Then I added some sticky candle wicks to the center. I'm keeping this nice and simple for you, and everything will be linked down below. I had vessels in varying sizes, and these were ones that I had on hand, but I love finding these at the thrift store. This one is a stone option, and I put nine wicks inside, but don't worry, I'll show you lots of smaller options too. I also found a beautiful salad bowl. I love the flat bottom, and for this one, I used two wicks. As your wax begins to melt, you'll have to add a little more, a small amount at a time. I love to use a wooden spoon to stir this. Simple masking tape will help hold your wicks in place, and that way when you pour the wax they won't bend over. I make sure to do the tape in two different directions to help hold them securely in place. When you do projects like this, you have to get a bit creative. For the larger vessels, I needed something besides masking tape. So I ran to the pantry and I grabbed some of these yardsticks. What's really cool about this, I was actually at my friend's house. These are vintage, which made it all the more fun. And the secret to great candles is to add coconut oil right to your wax. For this batch, I added two heaping spoonfuls. This is gonna help release the fragrance oils into the air more effectively. I think it also gives a beautiful sheen to the wax and it helps prevent it from cracking or settling. For this batch, I decided to add about 10 drops of vanilla, 15 drops of sandalwood, and five drops of citrus oil. And you can combine this however you like the fragrance best. Of course, we have our beautiful embellishments, but we'll get to that in a second. Very carefully pour your wax into the vessels. You wanna make sure to do all of the wax at one time. I prefer not to do it in layers, and you wanna make sure to melt enough for all of your projects. Here we had some extra, so I decided to put it in this beautiful glass jar from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna see tons of options in this video. As your wax begins to cure, you want it to be just enough so you can start placing items inside and they'll stay near the top. Keep any embellishments like cinnamon sticks, your oranges, rosemary, away from the wicks a few inches or so and on the outer edges of the bowl. Depending on the depths of the candle, they'll have varying drying times. Now this candle hardened much more quickly than I anticipated, so I started adding this on top. If you ever need to remelt the wax, you can use a heat gun to do so. And I put all of the embellishments, including cloves, on the outside of the candle. After 24 hours, take off the sticks, trim down your wicks. 72 hours allows the candle to cure, and one week, the throw will be incredible. I can't wait to show you how the smaller options turned out. I absolutely adore this big one as a centerpiece. Never leave a candle unattended, but you can enjoy this all season long. I love it. When you see how those smaller candles turned out, you're going to just love it. Hold on tight because first I have to show you a quick tea idea. This is an alternate gift idea that's really simple and this comes before Christmas, friends. I'm gonna link this down below because this idea is so easy. Grab some loose leaf tea. I will also be sure to link my favorites. This is a lavender version and I had some leftover cloves. At the Dollar Tree, you can find these really beautiful tags. I'll also be sure to link some on Amazon to write personalized notes. On these, I chose to write affirmations, and because it comes with a white string, it's perfect to tie directly to the tea bags. I added three small spoonfuls, and I decided to add a small clove to each one to give it a holiday flair. Drawstring this closed, and then you can tie on your tags. I went to the Dollar Tree and I grabbed beautiful iridescent jars 
and I drilled a small hole. You can also poke a hole in the top. And then I took these little knobs. I got this from the dollar section at Target, but the Dollar Tree sells small knobs as well to put on the top. I love the bee because you could combine this as a gift with honey. How beautiful is this idea? It's personalized, lovely, and you can do it for less than $5. If you need something even simpler, I'll link down below these stainless steel mesh tea balls. These are just a couple of dollars a piece. And what I love about this is you can add charms to the bottom and personalize it to the person you're giving it to. I'll link some of these options down below. And of course, at the date of posting, all of these items will arrive before Christmas. This would make a beautiful teacher gift idea. This would make a great gift for your mom. Pair with a bag of your favorite loose leaf tea. Again, I've got everything planned so you can fill up your cart in the description below. Next, I wanna show you these ornaments. I've never done anything like this, but I was so excited to try. I got inspired on TikTok. People were using model magic clay. Did you know that you can actually find this at the Dollar Tree? It's white and it comes in mini bags. This is literally the perfect amount for this gift and it costs just $1.25. Roll this out onto wax paper and then take your favorite cookie cutter to cut out shapes. The Dollar Tree also has tons of crafting supplies for jewelry making now. This is brand new. The clay dries in about two days or so and what's really great is you can add paint or embellishments to this. In the quiet evening snow is falling and from every window shines a light. If you want to add some texture to these, one of my favorite things to do is to go outside and collect different types of pine trees. Then, once you've rolled this out, you can place these on top to give the impression of the tree. And when it dries, you can fill it in with a beautiful iridescent paint. This is a perfect gift idea to do with little hands if you need to make something for the grandparents or do something fun with your kids. It is so relaxing. I also really want to share with you my most replicated DIY gift idea because everybody who receives this gets so excited and that's bath salts. Did you know you can actually make this using all Dollar Tree products? They sell pink Himalayan bath salt and lavender Epsalt. Use one part of the pink Himalayan salt to two parts of the lavender Epsom salt. If you don't have scented Epsom salt, you can also add some of your own. Here I'm using sandalwood and grapefruit. Also optional is dried sage and dried rose petals that you can add inside. I did this myself, but I'll be also sure to link some options down below if you want to add this. I think one of my favorite elements of this gift is shopping for the jars to put it in. In fact, sometimes I have a hard time picking my favorites, but I get mine all from the Dollar Tree. Use a funnel to put these into your jars. This is a mini one. It had shells inside before, but I took them out. I also have these long neck jars. Look how much these retail for. You really are saving making it this way. This is an incredibly simple and fast gift idea. You know, over the years making these videos, I have had comments like, I wouldn't want to get anything from the dollar store, or I can't believe you would give a gift that was thrifted. But to me, there is something so special about something that somebody took the time to think about another person for. They went to the store, they made it. They had to be perhaps creative or money saving. Those have been some of the most special and personalized gifts to me. And I think that's the true meaning and joy of giving. I think that's why I love these gift ideas. None of them are plastic, they're all handmade, and they don't contribute to clutter. They're things that you can actually use and love and enjoy. So be creative with your vessel. And when in doubt, remember, the first Christmas was pretty simple, and it's okay if yours is too. There's also the option to go to the Dollar Tree and get the tall candles that have white wax. These melt down just like you would melt down the soy wax you can buy online. You can use the same technique to pour these into your vessel and tape up your wicks and then add beautiful embellishments on top. Pressed flowers are another option, especially coming into the new year. If you want something fresh to give as a gift idea, I love this one as well. You can't go wrong with any of these gifts. My beautiful friend, if nobody has told you today, you are enough, more than enough. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one.